Hi everyone, today I'm back with a new video. So actually last year I tried to pass the KIP test a few times, which is like the Korean immigration like test, uh, which is like kind of more uh, around culture, uh, politics, whatever, more than like really Korean, Korean skills uh, test. And after a few fa failures due to my sp speaking skills, uh, like and also because I was barely able to study because of my previous job and company. When I was uh, actually looking for a new job um, uh, at the beginning of this year, so January, February, I took this time uh, to also study a lot more uh, Korean and also to take again the test uh, and hopefully uh, succeeded because I got more time also to uh, like study and hopefully succeed this test so i was able to finally get uh, that final level which is like uh, the level five so uh, i was really happy to finally get it because like the test is valid two years and it will allow me to get 20 points uh, once i try to apply for the resident visa in south korea which is, which is the f2 and yeah, so uh, it will help me get more years and uh, to uh, su successfully, hopefully, uh, get the resident visa finally. During that test, I did a little better for the speaking part, even if it wasn't that great. But because I was able to study way more than before, I did way better for the cultural part, like speak uh, history, uh, economics, politics and everything which allowed me to actually get enough points to succeed the test even if it wasn't like way more than the minimum like re uh, required uh, but I still was able to get it so I was pretty happy to finally get it. I wanted to do a video after I received the, um, this result but because the beginning of this year was really messy for me uh, I didn't get, get time and uh, now I finally get more time because I'm a little more stable and I'm restarting all my social media which is Instagram, uh, TikTok and my YouTube ch channel. I decided to finally talk about this uh, achievement because this is kind of an achievement because it took me a long time to do it and it will get me uh, later the visa that I, I am trying to get for years. So. Hopefully, um, th that's kind of the end of the road <laughs> of my, uh, how to say, difficulties uh, with the visa in Korea. The test is not that long because like the question part about Korea is like 50 minutes long. The writing is 10 minutes and the speaking part is only 5 minutes. But because of the speaking part, uh, which you have to take, with another person and there is a lot of people to like uh, take the test uh, you can have a really long waiting time which can be uh, up to two hours to be honest if you are last in the list if you are lucky and you are among the first people you can be out of uh, the test like within three hours after entering the building uh, because like you have to be earlier uh, than the beginning of the test of course uh, and then you will go out uh, within three hours but if you're uh, unlucky you will <laughs> have to wait a long time and you will have maybe maybe leave I will say five hours later <laughs> uh, after entering the building which is can be really long and boring because you can have your phone while waiting which is like really <laughs> how to say difficult when you have nothing to do like at some point you don't have like more to do if you have to wait three hours to be honest like studying just studying during three hours during a test is like really difficult and you just have want to be over with it and yeah but this time i was first in my room which was the first prayer because it was like number one in the list uh which was really stressful for me because i still wanted to be like in the first like maybe four or five people to be able to go fast but I still wanted some time to study a little more because like uh, the speaking part was stressing me a little because I didn't get that chance to improve that much my speaking but uh, actually because I was first to go I didn't have time to think that much and I just went and I just like 
box answered and went out and I was like oh actually maybe that was better because like now I'm done and I can go back home I can rest and I can just like sleep and we will see next week <laughs> the results so yeah actually like at the end I, I was pretty happy to not have waiting three hours because I think the time before I had to wait three hours <laughs> I was the last one so yeah this time I was first I was really surprised to see my name number one so I was like no <laughs> But yeah, that was pretty uh, surprising. But at the same time, they're like, oh, yeah, actually, maybe that's better for me. Like, that. I won't think, overthink it. And I will just go and we'll see. And I will just do my best. So. so actually, I will do more videos, like maybe two more videos about the KIP test because uh, it will be too long, uh, this one. So yeah, because it will be long, so one will be about the books that I used to study for this Korean test, or so the KIP test. And the other one will be more, uh, more about like the registration uh, process and how the test is carried out. So like uh, from the beginning, when you enter the building and everything until you go out. So I'll explain that in other videos because I think it will be good for people that I want to take it didn't take it yet to understand it and be maybe less stressed about it uh, even if it is quite a stressful when you take uh, any test, any Korean test anyway but I think if it can be helpful for you I would like to explain it in other videos that's why I want to do them but yeah today we way too long in this one so, so today I just wanted to share that I finally got this level 5 for the KIP test and that I was able to finally succeed it and now I'm rested, resting a little uh, before studying again to study more Korean uh, maybe next month I will start again because I will want to take again this test in less than two years after getting the level 5 because if I want to renew any visa in the future uh, Hopefully the F2 visa or if I want another visa, uh, I think I will need this test anyway. And even like for a uh, job, whatever, I think it will be good for me to get uh, like continuously the test. So uh, I want to succeed it on the first try. So I have to study it like on the long run, like that will be easier for me and less stressful. And I will be able to remember everything and not just like take everything <laughs> in a short time. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you next week with a new video. Bye!